Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple ways to disable automatic restarts after your Windows updates. So if you're the uh, type who likes to leave your computer on 24 hours a day, then you might have noticed that when you hop on it in the morning, it's been restarted. And um, of course, you could pause the updates for, you know, for a few weeks or whatever, but they're eventually going to have to happen and you're going to have to reboot your computer. So normally, you know, Windows is not going to restart your computer while you're working on it in the middle of the day but it will reboot it eventually when it sees that you have some downtime. So we're going to show you a couple ways to do it for uh, Windows Home and for Windows Pro. And this will work for 10 or 11, um, except for the Pro version, it's going to vary between Windows 10 and 11. So I'll show you when we get there. So the first way is to do a registry edit. So obviously you need to be careful when doing these so you don't uh, mess up your computer if you do something wrong. So to begin, we need to open the registry editor. Reg edit. And then we need to navigate to this key, which I'll put all this in the description here. You just copy and paste it in there. Okay, so then within this Windows key, we need a new key called Windows Update. So you can just right click on Windows, New Key, Windows Update. Make sure you have the capital letters, no spacing. And then within that key, we need another new key named AU. Right click, New Key. AU, and then within that key, we need a DWORD 32-bit value called No Auto Reboot with Logged On Users. So you could right-click on that, or you could right-click in a blank area, New DWORD 32-bit value, just like that. And then you could double-click it and change its value to 1. And then just reboot your computer just to make sure it takes effect, and then you should be good. Okay, so now for the uh, Windows Pro, you could do this in Windows Pro, by the way, the registry edit, but if you're using Pro, you might as well just use the group policy editor. So GP edits, what do you need to run there? Okay, then from there, you want to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and here's where it differs between Windows 10 and 11. So Windows update, if you're in Windows 10, the setting you want will be right here. But if you're in Windows 11, you're going to have to go to Legacy Policies and then find it there. So Windows 10, it'll be here. Windows 11 under Legacy Policies. Then you can just sort by name and look for No Auto Restart with Logged On Users for Scheduled Automatic Updates Installations. Double-click that. Change it to Enabled. And this says, if, if status is set to Enabled, Automatic Updates will not restart. A computer automatically during a scheduled installation if a user is logged into the computer. So, like I said, if you keep your computer logged in, even though you're not using it, you'll be okay. But if you log off at night, then this is probably not going to help you out. But if you lock it, you should be okay because you're still technically logged in. So once you change that to enabled, just apply and okay. And then if you want it to take effect right away, you could do a GP update force at a command prompt. Let's just copy that. Then just do a administrative command prompt. Run that. You probably don't need the force, but I always like to put it just to make sure it happens. Or you could just reboot the computer, same thing. Okay, so that's completed successfully. So what this does is it pretty much does the same thing as the registry edit did, but you don't have to go through those steps. You just need to enable it from the group policy editor, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so once again, I'll put these in the description. You could try them out. Just keep in mind, you know, Microsoft is always changing things with different builds, and then they, you know, make certain things not work anymore. So this may or may not work at a certain time, depending on when you're doing it and so on. So you'll have to find out for yourself if your computer reboots or not. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.